gave up 16 hitting errors. That's the only reason they lost that set. Texas in white, Wisconsin in the red. The one seed and the 12 seed. And the freshman sensation, Lauren Carlini, getting the Badgers out to the 2-0 lead. Uh, also terrific serving from Wisconsin. The best serving team they've had in their history. And it's been a whole lot of Eckerman for Texas. Who can help her here in the fourth, or is she going to have to carry the load herself? And it would be number 23, Bailey Webster, that they would look to for help as they get another block. They've owned that statistic tonight. And as Coach Sheffield said for Wisconsin, it's not so much the blocks that hurt Wisconsin, it's just the balls that went clean out of bounds into the net. Now an ace for Texas from Cat Bell. And when Wisconsin hits in, they've given Texas a ton of trouble, more than they could handle in those first two sets. Well, like we saw in the beginning of the third set, some hitting errors for Wisconsin helping Texas here. That ball not even going close to the court, about eight feet out. Trying to avoid, trying too hard to avoid the block of Texas. Point Wisconsin. Texas with a 23 match win streak. Last losing on September 13th to Arizona State. The most impressive win of the Elite Eight winning in Lincoln last weekend and a sweep over Nebraska. But got rocked through the first couple of sets who were able to hang on and respond with a big win, needing a couple of extra points in the third. Nelson, free ball across. Carlini sets the middle. Nelson. Webster just cannot get the connection going with Allison. Morales hit the antenna first, point Texas. You're right, Texas can't get the connection going, but at least Webster keeps it in, and now Wisconsin handing another freebie. Badgers played for the title once before, back in 2000 for Texas. They have been there on four previous occasions, winning an AIAW title in 1981, the year before the NCAA took over, and then McHaley guided them to a championship in 1988, and then Jared Elliott, and a lot of the Longhorns on the floor right now winning the title a year ago. They lost Shader McNeil, one of their leaders and one of their best passers, and replaced her with the Big 12 Freshman of the Year, Chiaka Obagu. Morales, and the block for Texas. Texas putting hands in a good spot here. You can see four hands right in front of that blocker or in front of that hitter, Morales. She has to figure out ways to hit the edges of the block more, use the outside hand tip over, hit around. Sneaks over the net. There's that back row set again for Neal that just has not worked for Texas. Thompson stuffed. McCage with the solo block. Well, Wisconsin's trying to use some misdirection and have the hitter, the quick hitter, Come off one foot after running to one spot of the court, run to her right. McCage not fooled at all. Puts her hands over for an easy stuff. They were able to slow down the swing, but Thompson gets a nice bounce. Point, Wisconsin. The surprise of this postseason, the Badgers finished fourth in the Big Ten and have fought their way into the national semis. 
with a new coach, a new setter, and a whole new outlook and confidence on their side of the net that has been lacking in years past. And we heard Maria Taylor report on it earlier, Karch, in the line from Lauren Carlini, she told us yesterday, Texas won it last year. They want to win again. For us, we need to win a national championship. And will that need be better than the want? Demi Morales hopes so. And I sure like I heard her calling go, go. That's the name for the set she uh, she hits out on that left side. I like the assertiveness. Carlini gets her a one on one. But even though she got blocked, she comes right back. And the ball passed too close to the net for an effective offensive play. Chapman. Neal able to keep it alive. Free ball Badgers. Carlini sliding behind is Thompson. Good chicken wing there from the setter Allison, but again it results in a free ball and that oh. one spins out of bounds. What has really paid off for Texas is just some patience. Keep it in. Make Wisconsin play the ball. This is a horrendous play. Palmer hitting it five feet out of bounds when she shouldn't be going for a kill there. Just let her blockers do their job. Pat Bell bringing some heat. Point Texas. <laughs> Carlini looks to Chapman. Ackerman. Came right back across. Haley's going to get another swing. Blocked. Carlini goes out wide to Chapman again. The tip. Here's Eckerman. Morales is there. Chapman got it. Wisconsin wins another long rally. Trying to wear him down. And if Wisconsin hits the ball in, they win a lot of those long rallies. The ones they've been losing where they just hit it into the antenna, hit it into the net, hit it out of bounds. They're having lots of success, but they have to swing for the court. Allison, Bell slides and scores. And she can score on that play a lot. They just haven't been able to locate her in a good enough spot and haven't been able to control the serves of Wisconsin to run the offense. Can they get on a roll now with Eckerman serving and both Webster and Bell back on the court together up front? Chapman. A bump from Eckerman. The good dump from Carlini. But a great read by Palmer on that play. And Webster gets the kill. Credit Sarah Palmer after making a poor play several, several plays ago. She read that set or that attack by Lauren Carlini perfectly. Made it into an easy offensive opportunity for Texas. Strong serve from Eckerman. Oh, Chapman, what a pass, or, or a set rather, cross court by Carlini. What a set from Carlini. Using her forearms to go 35 feet across, puts the ball in a perfect position. And because of that, there's daylight to hit at. Webster off the fingertips. Now Carlini tries the quick in the middle, and Bell was right there waiting. Bell with a little talking under the net on that play. Watch right here, and a little stare down. Texas needs something to wake them up. That was Cat Bell's attempt. Chapman, Carlini able to hook up with her again. 16 kills now for Chapman. 
space, big space between blockers. The, the lower you set that ball to the outside, the faster it travels, the less time the middle has to get there, the more space there's going to be. Ackerman out of the back. Good defense by the Badgers. Morales. See, Texas can't get that ball up for a swing, so they have to give it over easy, and then they're scrambling, and they don't make the defensive play. When you see Wisconsin make that play, lots of people can put that ball close to the net, and they'll get a swing. What do you like about Carlini right now and the job she's doing distributing? She doesn't look like a freshman. No, she does you not. Do not notice anything about her lack of experience. Three Badgers with double-digit kills. Net violation for Texas Point. Wisconsin ties it at 12. Badgers get the set, they win the match. Texas gets it, we go to a fifth. Palmer struggled with the pass. And again, it's just a bump over instead of a swing. Now Carlini, the back set, the stuff for the Longhorns. Sends it back out to Thomas. Webster. Morales, stuffed. Point Texas. Molly McCage with seven blocks on the night. Much better handwork by McCage. On this play, she shoots her hands across the net more and points them where she wants the ball to go rather than where it came from. Stuffed to the ground. Carlini again looking to set the middle. Another chance for the Badgers. They'll go outside of Morales. Slowed down by Texas. Here comes Bailey Webster with the tip. And Webster gets the kill. Just her seventh of the night. She's hitting 130 so far. See, it's really obvious. That ball is so close. There is nowhere for Webster to go on that play. Carlini has to do a better job of reading that and be ready for the tip softly over the block. Tip by Thomas Scott down. Watch how far back on your, the right of your screen, the black shirt, Sarah Palmer playing about two thirds, but she took a step back before she went forward and she has to be set and ready to go forward instead of get, having to get ready to get ready. Looking for Thomas. Webster bothered it. Texas on the run. Abagu. Kept out of press row by Carlini. Allison to McCage. Thompson. And the defense helping the Badgers. And what a nice play by number three, Courtney Thomas for Wisconsin. She set last year, set the last couple of years, and when they get the ball back, she turns into the setter right here. Carlini, the setter, plays the ball. So three, number three, Thompson becomes the setter. She runs the slide, and they get a kill, an easy play, turning into a good offense. And it looks as though she's been setting all year on that play. <laughs> you talk about an unselfish player who could have been jealous about Lauren Carlini coming in and taking the job. Instead, she moved to the right side and taught herself, along with the coaches, how to play out there. And here she is setting it up again. Yeah, she told Coach Sheffield, hey, I've got your back, whatever you want. 5-1, one, one setter offense, two setter offense. Put me anywhere, however I can help this team. Texas up one. Here in the fourth, it's Wisconsin leading the match. Doesn't have to be perfect, and yeah. that, I think, was a big part in them winning the title last year. It certainly isn't perfect tonight. <laughs> if they want to embrace it not being perfect, they've got a lot of it tonight. But they're still in this. they got to be happy. They have a lead, and now a tie with that missed serve. But considering the way they're playing, to be in this position and alive says a lot. Ninth service error, and... As we've alluded to before, nobody knows better than Texas that it can be done. It's only happened once, down 0-2 in the semis and come back to win the match. And it happened to Texas. 
falling to Stanford in that epic 2008 evening where both semis went to five. Stanford beat Texas, and then uh, Penn State went up two zip on Nebraska, and they had to hold on in the fifth to win. Yep, two 2 0 leads, and then they went five, giving the fans a lot for their money. Morales with another kill. Demi with 11 now. Allison, Obagu. And that's the best swing of the night for Chiaka. Point Texas. And Allison putting her in a place where she can mm, reasonably reach on that one. It could have been a little higher, but that was a better connection than some of those we saw in sets two and three that were so high, she just had to tip over. Carlini, look at the Chapman stuffed. Bell puts the roof on it, Texas by two. First the pass or the dig for Wisconsin, far too close. Carlini scrambling to make that play. Wisconsin would be much better off not putting the ball on the tape, but more, far, much farther off the net of the three meter line. So a timeout called by Wisconsin. Look at the block advantage for Texas tonight. That's what has been keeping them in this match, trying to force a fifth set and awaiting their turn on the court tonight. Washington, the three seed, Penn State, the two seed. They are your champs of the Big Ten and the Pac-12. And they are on deck. Well, ESPNW has been following Texas Road to Seattle. You can check out Total Access with the Longhorns at ESPNW.com. And also catch up on Bailey Webster as she blogs about her trips through the tournament for all the latest uh, news. Also, there's Michelle Vopel, our, uh, our writer here for ESPNW and volleyball coverage all season long. She's got uh, some burning questions about who's going to win this championship. Looks like she's already hard at work about her next feature for tomorrow. Check it all out at ESPNW.com. Texas turnaround in effect right now. They came back to win the third. They are up a couple of points here in the fourth. And Maria was listening into that Wisconsin huddle. Coach Sheffield telling his team he's happy that Texas is showing up to play. He said he doesn't want anyone to be able to say that Wisconsin won because Texas did not show up. Now he's telling his team to take this match back and be super aggressive. Let's see if they can do it. Carlini tight on that set to Chapman, and now it's Texas. Ackerman. There's the dig that Wisconsin wants. Two to three meter line, get a much better set. It was Hickey with the dig. Back row, the tip by Brooks. Chapman gets a swing without a blocker up, and now Texas off the hands for Eckerman. Brooks serving. And it's a good one. Allison plays it on two. And right back across from Carlini. Dumping it down. And that's what Coach Sheffield wants. Easy play for Wisconsin. And at six foot two, Carlini. One of the taller setters, she can take advantage of those close plays when she is in the front court. Beckerman. Looking for a touch, does not get it. Point Wisconsin, they're back within one. Passing issue on that last play for the Longhorns. Can Wisconsin get another strong serve? Here is Allison to Eckerman, and cut for the point. 
We haven't seen much of that from Haley Eckerman. That's how she opened the regional final, just crushing a scud cross court against Nebraska on their home floor. That space is open. She could hit more of that if she can get her feet to the ball. Three kills in the set now for Haley. Back to serve. Carlini looking to Chapman. Sky ball for Webster, dug up by Hickey. Carlini goes to get it. Chapman denied. She'll try again. And gets it. Bailey Eckerman hesitating just a little in middle back. And she doesn't take a step. All she did was fall to that one step, and she can make that play. Cantrell gets the kill. Texas, four points from a fifth set. They had to fight off a match point back in the third. Chapman gets the kill. Chapman serves. Allison has to chase it. And Eckerman gets blocked, trying to come out of the back. And you can see Eckerman barely in your screen. If you're going to set somebody in the backcourt, you've got to allow them to jump from behind the three-meter line and then land in front. And that was at the 15-foot line. Very difficult to attack from. Timeout for Texas, even at 21. And Haley Ackerman, the only Longhorn in double-digit kills, she's got 17 of them, has taken a monster number of swings tonight. She sure has, carrying the load for her team. And she's probably had the most success when she goes sharp cross court. We just saw her with a kill before that step. International Freshman of the Year a few years back. And then as a sophomore last year and a junior this year, the Big 12 Player of the Year. And she is approaching her, her season high in swings. She's got 57, three shy of the most she's taken this year. She has been dynamite for them in the postseason and down the stretch in the Big 12. Washington hanging out in the locker room trying to stay loose. They know they will have the home court advantage in our second semi here in Seattle. They didn't lose at home this year, by the way, en route to winning the Pac-12 championship. To 25, got to win by two. Ackerman swooping in out of the back. Demi Morales right at Palmer. Webster. Set back outside. Morales can't put it over for Texas. Trying to thread the needle too perfectly. Again, you're seeing Texas on its side of the net having some trouble even getting a swing for Bailey Webster. Meanwhile, Wisconsin gets lots of quality swings. That one going into the net. Carlini looks over at Morales, and that time a better swing from Demi. And we've seen that a number of times this evening. She gets blocked, she just comes back. No backing down. That time she made a hitting error. No backing down, going right off the block and out of bounds. You gotta love her spunk. Hickey serves it. Allison. Webster. Kept alive by the Badgers. Allison, Obagu in the middle. Set back. Texas 
Texas says Wisconsin is now two points from the match. Good hustle by Lauren Carlini in the backcourt. One of the times you see Wisconsin giving the play over, but what a nice read by two blockers for Wisconsin. They know that Texas likes to run that play to Abagu, that front quick, that front one set. And they've put themselves in a great position. So now they've probably got to be thinking Bailey Webster. But more importantly, they want to come to the service line, Wisconsin does, and hit a tough serve. They've been able to get Haley Eckerman in trouble with her serve receive. And if they do so again, they limit Texas's offensive options. Well, and you touched on the, the tough serving, getting at the heart of the problem for Texas in their passing game. Wisconsin has really executed their game plan with the tough serving game, the balance. They have managed to take Webster and Abagu right out of it tonight. It has been all Eckerman for Texas. The Longhorns have survived with their big block. And they have already been forced to fight off one match point. And a tough serve right here for the Badgers may get them another. If I were Wisconsin, I would do, oh, and Texas shifts. They bring in a better passer for Haley Eckerman, number three, Pilar Victoria. They're trying to upgrade their serve receive so they can get a swing to any one of their three front court hitters. And there is the pass, and it's McCage, and the move pays off, and they will quickly shuttle Eckerman right back in. It certainly did pay off. That pass is exactly where Texas wants it to run the offensive set, the offensive pattern. Amy Neal serving. The pass to Carlini. She looks to Morales. And it is match point, Wisconsin. Demi Morales, she's got it! And the 12 seed! 